Hey and welcome to Daily Devotions again with me, John Dyer. Today is the 15th of February 2018 and I'm so glad that you could join with me again today to study God's Word and that we can learn from it together. If you're joining with me this year and reading through the Old Testament together, today we read in Exodus chapter 39 and 40. Now key verse today is found in Exodus 39 verse 2 which says, They made the effort of gold and of blue and of purple and scarlet yarn and of 50 twisted linen. But when God instructed Moses to build the tabernacle in the wilderness, he gave very specific instructions for the tabernacle and for the clothing which the priests were going to wear. The clothing was going to be predominantly gold, blue, purple and scarlet. But why these four colours? For us today, colour is just a symbol of fashion. But back in the Old Testament, it had great value of what it really represented. And we're going to look in today at four of these colours. Gold. It meant purification. Revelation 21 verse 18 says the new Jerusalem will be made of pure gold, like unto clear glass. It continues in verse 21 to say the streets will be pure gold as transparent glass. Clear or transparent glass means there's absolutely no impurities in it whatsoever. The gold had gone through a purification process by heating up the gold, skimming off the dross and the impurities from the top which floats up. And Peter speaks also about how we of Christians need to go through this purification process. So, he writes, So to prove your faith, being more precious than gold, which is perishable, even though tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour and revelation of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1 verse 7. The next colour we read of is blue. It speaks of chastisement or correction. Proverbs 20 verse 30 says, The blueness of the wound cleanses for away evil. So do stripes away lay in the parts of the belly. Blue represents the colour of the skin after a wound. The wound and stripes reconcile and represent chastisement. Isaiah 53 verse 4, 5 tells us that Jesus was bruised for us. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And because of his stripes, then we are healed. The next colour we think of is purple. It means costliness. It took approximately 8,500 shellfish to produce only one ounce of the purple dye. And because of this, the colour was very expensive. And only the super rich, as the kings or royalty, could really afford it. That is why it is referred to so often as a royal colour. It cost Jesus so much to come to earth and to redeem us. The King of Kings came to give us his very own life for ours. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 15 says, And he died for all, that those who live no longer live by themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Finally, scarlet means cleansing. Leviticus 14, 1-7 speaks about cleansing of a leper. The blood is sprinkled over the one who is to be cleansed seven times, then he is pronounced clean. For us to be made clean in God's sight, it also requires blood. Jesus' blood covers our sins, and because of him we are also pronounced clean. 1 John 1, verse 7 but if we are living in the light, as God is in the light, then we have fellowship each with another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all of our sin. So as we see again in today's reading that even though it was written thousands of years before Jesus came to earth, God always had a plan of redemption for his children. He gave hints of what was to come as he was passing along the instructions even to the details of the colours for the tabernacle and the clothing of the priests. So today, let's reflect on how can you give testimony to these four points that the colours represent in your life? And secondly, how has God been purifying your life? Let's pray. Our Father, we just thank you again today as we've been reading, as we've been reflecting on these passages of Scripture, that we see that your eternal plan of salvation was always in place. That even in the small details and the things which we may just take for granted as what colour represents what. Father, I thank you that even in down to the details of colour, you are painting a picture of our salvation. So far, I thank you for how Christ came to cleanse us and to purify us. Lord, we realize it was costly. We realize the correction that had to take place for us to be healed, for us to be um, restored. But Father, we thank you that you are purifying us as your people, that you have healed us and saved us in Christ. So Lord, help us to enjoy this eternal relationship with you that you've earned for us. Help us to praise you in all we do, we pray. In Jesus' precious name, amen.